The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're kind of toying around down here. I thought by Friday we'd get some kind of reversal. I didn't know if they'd be able to hold it up through fun buying over the next couple of days. But I can say that there's probably a chance that we could get a, a sharp correction uh, to the upside if any fun buying comes in. As I said uh, yesterday, uh, these guys probably going to wait until they see the whites of the eyes of the third day and other people starting to buy. Uh, they did mark up the stocks uh, well enough for fun buying. It just didn't hold. Uh, I've been looking for a 4250 or thereabouts to find a good spot to go long if we come back on lighter volume. Last time uh, we talked uh, about uh, volume, it was that monstrous volume to the downside. And the old saying that uh, been uh, said since Wyckoff in the 30s, repeated by Tim Ward in the early 2000s that I picked up, and that is a high volume low is not a low unless it's been retested. So you have a temporary low, uh, but not a medium or long-term low. You, the question is just when do you go back and retest it? And really, we kind of blew through and then had a false breakdown below 42.50. Now the question is, can we come back there and test it on lighter volume? Uh, all at the same time, we've got other things going on uh, in world events. Uh, where's my uh, volume day? There it is. Um, what doesn't look good already is that we don't have a lighter volume. We're doing about 9.4 billion shares. You would love to see 4250 stand if it got something like maybe 11 million shares in the whole day. Uh, this is ugly, huge volume action that could blow out the lows once again. So... Um, I was thinking maybe they'd be able to hold it up for a couple more days. I didn't watch the news and see what happened on the reversals out there. We did kind of open up a little earlier. Maybe somebody in the den uh, can say, but they've been posting news items. I didn't know if one was the one that broke the camel's back. But certainly uh, no news is good news, and all we've had is uh, news. So lots of volume, big downside. Is it enough to blow out the 18 million or 18 billion share a day? Well, we've got about half uh, at two o'clock. So could it come in at 15 billion and be less? Yes. Is it going to be something where it comes in at half? I don't think so. That's what I thought maybe might happen uh, to make some kind of temporary low. Uh, we are on the auspices of uh, what is it? Uh, beware the Ides of March. Remember that old old uh, chestnut from, uh, Sh I think it's Shakespeare, isn't it? And that, of course, was warning uh, against uh, a uh, giant uh, Caesar getting uh, knifed in the back by Brutus, A2 Brute, he said. Uh, and that means uh, if you're in Lutz, U2 Brutus. I remember Brutus in the... Uh, what is it? Sailor Man, Popeye cartoons. It's always interesting. He was the big guy that could get beat up by the smaller guy if he ate the spinach. And uh, that was always an interesting theory. I wonder how many people actually did it. <laughs> Orange Julius Caesar salad. Well, the Caesar salad actually is named after somebody that was named Caesar who invented it. I think maybe 80 years ago or something. It wasn't after the Caesar Caesar, but he was probably named after the Caesar. So that's it. But uh, eh, 
Let's see if we got anything else going on. We got some questions. Uh, let's go through uh, the sit rep as it stands. Um, I warned this morning that uh, any downside could now be exaggerated. One of the reasons why is we didn't have that many stocks with with uh, short short uh, numbers, high short uh, numbers. Uh, and that's generally when the market falls, when there's not a lot of natural buyers underneath of it or the shorts have given up. And uh, the data for the 15th, which is always we're looking at uh, in uh, the rearview mirror by 12 to 15 days, the way that the dates fell, we didn't get it till uh, yesterday. If you pay six, I think it's $6,500 a month, you can get that data two days earlier. <laughs> or three days. In this case, I think it would have been four days earlier. This data was late. But I put out the uh, highly shorted stocks in the newsletter this morning. Uh, but uh, yeah, they there wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot. So any selling, if you don't have natural buyers and everybody just stands back, uh, can get exaggerated very quickly. As uh, a, one, a big sage uh, once said. Wow, that got out of hand real quick. I think uh, I think that was uh, what was the guy's name in that movie about the broadcaster? And I can't think of it. But it's the Saturday Night Live guy. Well, we'll think of it. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Other things going on. Uh, the SEC came out with a blurb last night, this morning, about changing the data. As I said, about $6,500 a month if you want it. A couple of days earlier than the unwashed masses like me. I never thought that paying an extra $6,500 was worth it. Um, so I just wait until it's commonly available. Uh, they're actually talking about promoting that as commonly available. And also... Uh, if there are big block shorts, making that uh, data available on a daily basis. We already know when there's a lots of shorts uh, being added from the FINRA data, and I bring that up from time to time. Uh, you still don't know whether or not those people covered or not. Uh, this would be a little bit uh, more uh, complete out here and let you know how many people are long and short. Uh, and give you kind of a wisdom of the crowds thing. Uh, but certainly, uh, the only thing they're going to do is anonymize the data. So you wouldn't know if uh, one of the big houses that short stocks, who uh, actually did it. They'll uh, aggregate all that data. Uh, but you would still know that someone dumped 400 million shares short of something uh, in a single day if they decided to go plunging. But uh, we can look forward to that. The comment period was over in January. Uh, they're talking about actually writing the rules here soon. So maybe by the time summer rolls around or next fall, we may have even additional SEC short data to uh, bring up the exchanges, which does it twice a month. And the FINRA guys, who they don't really account it, but they do. Uh, tell you that at least someone did short that day. Didn't tell you if we come back, we'll talk about earnings after the bell tonight and earnings from last night until this morning. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we come back, I can't find it. It was from Anchorman. That got out of hand real fast. Um, yeah, I'll find it here maybe in the next break. But, uh, eh, we'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, lots of volume on the downside. Uh, we've got some emails already coming in. We'll take a look. Uh, let's see what we have right now. Yeah, sitting down 75, just under 4,300 on the S&P cash. Um, after the bell tonight, we've got AMC, Sophie, Wish, CRM Plug, uh, Nordstrom's, and uh, Ross. So we get a little bit more of uh, clothing, uh, clothiers, be what they were called, I guess, um, department stores, that kind of stuff uh, tonight. Uh, probably the big one will be interesting is AMC to see whether or not the short uh, squeeze can be run once again. Uh, CRM, probably the big tech stock out for the night. Uh, and uh, see about that. Uh, of course, uh, last night, uh, well, let's just go to these, uh, some of these other ones here. Eh, oh, let's do a little history, actually. Uh, oh, I forgot to do some history, I think. Yep, I forgot to do it today. So we're just going to move on uh, to charts already in progress over most of TFNN. As I forgot to do what's new in the history today. Okay, so the first thing is earnings. Lots of earnings. Uh, that can't be the right ones. Uh, there's got to be another one here. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. I had to get my list ready here. Uh, the big loser uh, of the day is GDRX. And uh, these guys guided down rather significantly. Uh, and a huge gap down it is. Good RX. Um, I don't know what else you can say about it other than uh, huge downside volume. Let's go to a little longer time frame here. See what we have. 
And you pr pretty much blew through all of them. I'm not exactly sure, um, mostly because uh, I haven't had time. But I know that um, the guy, the Dallas Mavericks owner, Broadcast.com, what's his name? Someone in the den will say. Oh, by the way, the movie was uh, Anchorman. I forgot about that. Uh, anyway, uh, the uh, anyway, what's his name? Cuban, Mark Cuban. Thank you. Um, has a new um, prescription website thing out, and I checked it. Uh, and yeah, the drugs are about a fourth of what they are on many other things for for uh, I don't want to say uh, generic drugs. Um, they're not offering any of the highline drugs, but uh, they're actually uh, uh, buying bulk uh, of the most generic drugs. And some of them can come in, like I said, a fourth, maybe a third the cost of even getting a discount with our, a good RX, which is kind of a coupon thing. And I didn't even know about them. Uh, I had to get something from the doctor. And uh, the doctor lady was nice enough to say, hey, here's a coupon from GoodRx. Didn't even know they had any. And it was good for 10 bucks off. It wasn't bad. I think all my drugs were only like 35 bucks to begin with. But I know a lot of people spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on drugs. Uh, and the generics could be significantly cheaper. But, uh, yeah, I checked out what I had just because I knew what, what it was and how much it should be uh, from the public's local big uh, uh, CVS's and uh, uh, other uh, prescription, or what do they call them, pharmacies. But it was very interesting. Yeah, um, good RX. Yes. Um, God, what's the name of that thing? I'm a, it's going to drive me nuts, but uh, I'll Google it real here. Uh, uh, Cuban. Drug website. I bet that, bet that comes up. Website, right? I'll give you the name of it. Um, Cost Plus. Mark Cuban Cost Plus. I guess it actually is Mark Cuban is the name. Mark Cuban Cost Plus Drug Company. Uh, I'm wondering if they're not looking at this because I went, th after I did that, I went through a great deal of other ones. And this is literally... How many, uh, how much dollars you'd save with something like GoodRx or some of the other ones? Uh, this was significantly lower on all of the big time stuff. Uh, he said this is where he's starting off buying uh, a great deal of the, the drugs just in bulk, but actually going to uh, start manufacturing some of these generic drugs himself or the company he is. And I don't know if this came from one of the from one of the guys on Shark Tank, because I don't watch it. I've watched maybe 10 minutes of it since it came out. Interesting, but I get bored fairly quickly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you got to take a lot of drugs, uh, you may want to check this out. You have to set it up, and then they just uh, forward the prescriptions from your doctor to them. But, yeah, I think uh, I checked with the R, uh, the good RX, and uh, to redo it would have been like 26 bucks with their coupon, and it was 7 bucks. Uh, from Cost Plus. So I'm just wondering if they haven't been uh, 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 cut off at the past, but that's action. Cost Plus, yeah, that's it. Um, anyway, big uh, gap down on that. That's a big loser, loser of the day. Uh, other ones out here which are really amazing, as I said uh, yesterday, uh, Ambrillo is probably going to give us some kind of taste of what's going to happen with Apple. Apple, of course, a week from today will have their big dog and pony and um, show some new products. But I think uh, as the market generally does, it shoots first and asks questions later. Uh, but not so much on Apple. I thought probably Apple would be a little weaker. But I think everybody's looking forward to those new product releases. Now, Apple was one of the stocks that did test the previous low on lighter volume. Not a whole lot lower, but you did have 154.50, the January 24th low out here getting tested uh, 163 million shares with 140 million shares. So it was lighter, uh, wasn't a whole lot lighter, 
uh, but you did get the reversal out of it. So theoretically, you didn't have to go back and retest that low. And of course, uh, generally in times of trouble, uh, if I sang the, uh, the uh, Beatles song, Mother Mary comes to me. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, everybody kind of tries to go to the ones that they think are the safest. And eventually that works for a while, but then doesn't work very long. Anyway, Microsoft, uh, MSFT, eh, about half the volume also. So some of these are kind of hanging in there. Uh, they're not doing well. They have kind of moved up. Uh, but uh, the rest of the market, uh, eh, not so much. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And uh, to what do we have here? Uh, to, 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 to. Uh, Pete says uh, VRM is the real dot of the day, down 41%. Uh, that's uh, that, That's got to hurt. That's going to leave a mark out here. Uh, and, of course, uh, I found it. I knew I had it. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It certainly did. Anyway, uh, we had a little bit of a bounce out here. Um, 
All this volume, though, would make me uh, stay away until we get a uh, test of uh, the low on lighter volume. Can you just bounce out of here on uh, fund buying? Yeah, but my guess is we give it up by Friday, maybe Friday at the close or something, if this heavy volume on the downside continues. Uh, big winner, winner, chicken dinner of the day comes from Target. I um, think uh, they had good earnings, but more than that, I had a lot of people short and, of course, people running to find anything for cover. Uh, we see that in the TLT, and we'll get to uh, emails here in a minute, uh, which has come up and filled this gap down. That gap happened on the 3rd of February, but... Uh, yeah, this is uh, certainly the Joe Granville thing where everybody uh, is running to the stern of the uh, Titanic. It's just going to be coming down a little bit later than the rest of the ship uh, and underwater. But certainly decent volume up here. Uh, but going along with the dollar, uh, people are all running to safety. And generally the problem is by the time they get out, um, it's out of the firing pan and into the fire. Okay, so let's get to some of these other emails already here. Uh, yeah, that looks good, Pete. Uh, we got VRM. Uh, take a look at USO. Got a nice little uh, pop out here today. I guess the question is, should you stop? And my belief is no. I think you just you know, you did kind of have a spike out here, um, but you've got to, I think I've been saying this for the last year, and that is you've got to believe that the administration is not going to, or is going to change its tune about being incredibly hostile uh, to uh, homegrown U.S. Uh, carbon um, energy sources, and I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to be have to uh, be like, what's the name of that movie? Gone with the Wind. We're going to have to uh, depend on the kindness of strangers to actually have them uh, pump oil. So it's not going to, nothing's going to change other than we're going to be exporting a bunch of cash. Um, and that's why all these NIMBY people, not my backyard, uh, drive me nuts because it doesn't do anything other than drive their neighbors broke. Uh, their fellow countrymen. So it's kind of a stupid idea uh, that they think it's going to get around. We need energy. Uh, so the question is, do we get bigger in the next round, get bigger than a uh, 10% uh, uh, change in uh, inflation? My guess is that is it. But uh, yeah, what can you say? Anyway, I don't think that's changing. And now that we broke through 100, had a little bit going on here, are you probably going to do a little back and forth? You can. The only thing that I would say that would make me want to sell is this if this gaps down tomorrow. My guess it does not, though. And uh, until it gaps down, uh, you'd just be speculating it was. And there is no evidence other than you have a candle, if followed by a gap down, that would be an abandoned baby and tell you, yes, you did want to sell. I just don't see how this changes. Uh, if anything, uh, Russian crude's harder to get to market at a higher price, um, lower price for the Russians, higher price for uh, other folk. Uh, but uh, I don't see much happening. Uh, and interestingly enough, I don't think anybody talked much about it. Two uh, big things happened yesterday, at least in my view of uh, big things that probably moves things along. First one is the, the Antonov jet. You may have seen it. It's like a 747, except it's got two more engines. It's got three under each wing, the biggest uh, plane ever made. And they only made one of them. And they blew it up yesterday or the day before. Hard to tell with the news and the time change. But that one's burnt up, so there's no more. And a, uh, I think about a $200 million boat in uh, Spain uh, had a uh, owner who's a... Uh, uh, a billionaire uh, arms uh, manufacturer in Russia. Uh, unfortunately for him, one of his employees that runs the ship 
uh, a Ukrainian. So he pulled the uh, he pulled the uh, big uh, uh, plug at the bottom of the bathtub, and the ship sunk. So I think more people are uh, the more that uh, they people put uh, pressure on a few things, but certainly uh, the uh, uh, oligarchs with their uh, boats. I know there's two down in Miami right now. And uh, apparently from the news article I saw, it's ringed with armed guards, lest somebody try to blow the thing up or blow them up. There's two of them down there. Um, well, you can sit in, in the winter in, uh, in Kiev, I guess, or in, uh, in Minsk. Uh, but those are pretty bleak places to spend the winter. Uh, if you could have your $200 million or $500 million yacht sitting down there in Miami, Miami. Or uh, at the bottom of a uh, arena in Madrid. I think it's in Madrid. But uh, it was interesting news. Uh, anyway, yeah, I don't see anything changing out here. But you are not going to get that confirmation till tomorrow. So if you don't want to sleep on it, you can sell it. Uh, but uh, there is no way to know until we get to tomorrow. Same thing with Enter Plus. You've got a nice spinning top up here. You get a gap down. That tells you if you've been in this for a long time, I think you just have to sit on your hands. Uh, Jesse Livermore was great about saying uh, that if you're going to be a big player like this, you have to hope that your uh, winnings get to be much bigger uh, winnings, and you have to uh, uh, fear that your losses can get to be much bigger losses. In this case, I think you have to sit on the side of hope and hope that they uh, do not gap lower tomorrow. But uh, if they do, both of those could be little abandoned babies at the top. Uh, loose lip sync chips, and also Ukrainians that are mad. So that's, we'll have to put that, oh, I'll have to say that. Okay. Just off the coast of Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Anyway, Mimi, um, no one knows what happens tomorrow. I would just say, though, it's been long for a while, and though it's, I'm pretty sure, uh, steady as she goes without any uh, signal to the contrary. We'll be back in a minute and uh, got a more um, look at uh, NVIDIA and Apple. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we come back, we're going to go to a couple more uh, emails out here. I can get back to them right here. Uh, NVIDIA, we haven't really looked at this one very much today. Um, eh, you're down a little bit, not much volume. Um, super huge uh, shorting in NVIDIA and uh, even more uh, AMD. Um, even more in AMD, man, that people are piling on massively uh, in AMD the last couple of days. So I'm not going to be surprised if this thing stalls out on the downside. Uh, but that's it. Uh, do, 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 okay, did I get that? Uh, okay, that's one. Uh, LMT. You got three advancing soldiers. So uh, your long LMT, uh, the call, if this is a trade, would be to sell it today. Right now, uh, let's take a look at uh, NOC. Probably the same thing. You get a little less of a candle on this one. The other one looked a little bit plainer for three advancing soldiers. It's just three big candles in a row. Pull the trigger. Pull the pin. Pull the ripcord. Just uh, pull it. Anyway, yeah, three days you get like this. Three big days, especially yesterday on volume. Um, if you're in a trade, you just say, good enough, I'm taking my cash right now and uh, come back and reevaluate it in a day or two. Uh, 2K. Um, UMC. United Microelectronics. 124, or is that 224 you're talking about? I'm thinking he's talking about one, uh, 224, although he put 124. He had uh, 22 million shares on the downside. Uh, you got back into the trading range, but it's not doing much. So, yeah, I think you get retested on $8.76 on that. Got more coming in. David, uh, my namesake says, do you think shop will head higher in the next three days? I don't know what higher means. A little bit higher uh, before it sells off. Um, I mean, ideally, if you were uh, thinking that you were going to try to short it, I like that double gap uh, right there at about 820. Uh, and that's where the risk reward would come in. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't see any sign this thing wants to bounce at all. And, like I said, I think by Friday, uh, any of the uh, fund buying that we get, sporadic fund buying like we're getting now uh, on the pullbacks, uh, probably gives it up. So, probably going to continue to see uh, there isn't a whole lot of shorts to squeeze. So, we kind of know that if this buying is coming in and is coming in during fund buying, is 
you know, on the dips, they'll probably dive in uh, for the funds to get the best price possible. But by Friday rolling around, that money is going to be gone. And we'll be looking into next week with interest rate hikes, uh, the Fed and the end of bond buying. I'm thinking that TLT may have one of the biggest turnarounds uh, that it's seen in a long time uh, next week. Uh, and I would just about, well, you kind of got to it, 120 or 143.33. Um, you may get one more day of that. The only reason why I wouldn't go short here on the TLT, um, I'd wait to see tomorrow. But if you get it, then that, I think, sets up the big move back lower on that. But I would wait one more day for uh, that. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, P fix. What about that? Uh, EpiPen. Uh, 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 P F I X. Okay. And yeah, let's see what that is. What is that? Uh, oh. Interest rate hedge. Yeah. And that's right into the gap, too. And that's a double gap also. Uh, this is the uh, hedge uh, interest rate hedge ETF. So, yeah, that actually does look fairly good there. And I probably wait one more day. Uh, to, to, to AQST. Quest of Therapeutics. Hey, you got a little of a bounce. I'm not um, bullish at all in the biotech space. I'm actually incredibly bearish, even at these lows. And the reason why, uh, even though you had a little lighter volume test out here, is it hadn't gone anywhere. And uh, my friends, the attorneys, are all telling me uh, that not only um, was the, the Pfizer and most of the Vax guys going to end up in the, these big lawsuits that it seems like whatever that they whatever they have now is damning but apparently uh, the uh, vaccine companies are scared to death about what's coming because they know they're going to get discovery and just how bad the discovery is uh, when we already know how incredibly horrible uh, the uh, whistleblowers stuff already is uh, that uh, we see, you know, just how bad uh, it's going to be when they pull the uh, pull the mask off of these guys, and just how how uh, corrupt uh, the vaccine industrial complex was over the last couple of years. Um, a lot of people are saying that uh, the government's trying to look the other way because they don't want this brought up, but it does look like uh, there could be some clawback in uh, the money that was paid. Uh, mostly because uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, getting immunity. As long as you don't lie, uh, like uh, Sammy Gra Gravano, you can kill 20 people and still get out of jail and spend another 30 years of your life outside. But uh, eh, if you lie, eh, all bets are off. All that immunity goes away. And uh, that's what everybody's thinking right now in a lot of those big... Uh, in, uh, industrial uh, vaccine companies, industrial um, complex. Uh, yeah, it had to be legit, right? Had to be. 877-927-6648. Again, I've uh, got a tale of two cities. We had uh, some heavy shorting in the very short term, but we've got no real long-term shorts out there, so they're in and out very quickly. And uh, there's just uh, not that much to the downside, and things can get of a, out of hand very quickly. Um, what else is out here? Now we're going to go to the break here. Did I get, okay. Uh, oh, shop when we come back, S-H-O-P. And see, we'll just take a quick look. Eh, kind of a little bounce, no volume. Not uh, for all that first. Not much happened out here. I think it's going to go back to 600 sooner rather than later. Be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Turn uh, Shopify question uh, will head higher in the next three days. I don't think there's a whole lot out here. If it didn't started moving already, it's probably not doing much. And my guess is that uh, you know people are probably going to stick with what works or what's what been working lately. So probably everybody's still going after gold, crude, um, other stocks like that. Maybe you get a pullback and in the military industrial complex uh, stocks like i said you got three three moves maybe you get a pullback in that to buy but uh now nah, i'm not touching really anything or thinking a lot goes higher until we go back and test around 4250. now we've got a lot of volume today actually way too much volume um now that may just be in the indexes when we start tearing apart the etfs tonight maybe that will change but I'm thinking that right now there's an 85% chance we retest 4250, and maybe today, but even tomorrow. And then I think the floodgates will open up for about two hours from fund buying. And then when we get to Friday, things can change and probably uh, head back down and retest the lows. Volume of, the volume today isn't breaking through those levels yet. 
but it is way too much volume. So I, I, I would say 80, 85 percent chance we hit 4250, if not later at the close today, uh, probably tomorrow. And then at around 4250, if the volume all dries up, maybe we got something, but we'll have to see then. Again, fun buying over. Uh, they kind of really marked it up and put some lipstick on this pig. Just doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy. In fact, as far as I can tell, everybody's running for the pills. Uh, so, eh, there's that. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, we've got Tim Ord, so get your questions ready. Eight, uh, yeah. So when you can, not when you have to. See you tomorrow. Same bat channel. Same bat time.